as shootings continue to take the lives of Arkansans, young and old. One group is asking people to turn their guns in for gift cards. No questions asked. Neil Zarang talked to organizers of the upcoming gun buyback event and why they say Little Rock needs this right now. Neil? Bob Laura, this is actually going to mark the second time that this fraternity group has taken time to take guns off of Little Rock streets. Last year, they were able to get 14 guns into the hands of Little Rock police, and they say they're equipped to take as many as people bring them Saturday. Any guns that we get off of the street can save a life, and that's what it's all about. This weekend, Curtis Woods and the Brotherhood of the Mu Beta Sigma chapter of the Phi Beta Sigma fraternity are in the business of saving lives in Little Rock. Last weekend, the capital city lost two lives to gun violence, including a seven-year-old girl on her way to the zoo. Hoping that, that she's going to experience one of the best days of her life. But then our parents see her experience the worst day of her life. Then you know that it's time to go to work. Wood says his event isn't in response to violence, but to prevent further death, his fraternity brought the event to Little Rock last year after seeing success in another state. This year, they'll be collecting guns from 10 to 3 Saturday at the St. Mark Baptist Church. Any operable firearm will be exchanged for a Visa gift card, but the greater reward, he says, is the lives that could be saved. We know without a shadow of a doubt that what we're doing is so important, and we feel this is a war that we must win. The Little Rock Police Department will have officers at this buyback event to secure and tag the weapons that are turned in, but no questions are asked. According to LRPD, they were able to take back 750 illegal guns off the streets of Little Rock last year. Reporting live in Little Rock, Niels Rang, back to you, Bob and Laura.